All right, today we're going to do a simple mod in the M2. We're going to remove the charcoal filters and also put these high flow inventory filters. All right, so basically, you just got to remove the covers, remove the bolts, take the strut bar off so we can access the intake filters. We have to pull out the carbon strut brace so that we can get to the intakes. So now we're just going to remove the screws and see what we're working with here. All right, so if we look inside, you'll see the orange is the intake filter, which I'm changing to a high flow. And up there, you'll see the charcoal filter, which is what I'm going to remove to improve airflow. So I'm going to do both of these things. We'll see how it turns out. So just to show what's happening. So basically replacing these two filters with this one on the right side and the left side. So as I was trying to reach back there, I dropped this bit. So I actually had to jack up the car and go under, remove some of these so that I can pull the under panel off. And then I use this magnet so that I could retrieve the bit. But everything's good. Now I'm gonna put the strut bar back on and we'll take it for a drive. So you're gonna to wanna to use a torque wrench for this, get the final bolts on at about 28 Newton meters of torque and uh, this should be the last step. I'm gonna put the rest of the trim back and the final rivet. All right, you can definitely hear the spool a little better. So I'm gonna go into third gear in efficient mode so you can hear. If you want to keep the stock set up and just improve airflow a little bit and improve sound a little bit for just a small increase in price over the stock filters and then you can also do the charcoal filter delete i think it's definitely worth it